everyone, and guess what it is? New Let's Play! We're back! My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and this is Remothered Tormented Fathers. So, this is a long story. This game, I've been following since sort of high school-ish. Um, one of my favorite franchises, as you guys probably know, for horror, is Clock Tower. I've played almost every single Clock Tower game, and I will be very shortly starting... Actually, yeah, in the next few days or so, next week sometime, I will be starting the second Clock Tower game, which is actually the first one. It's the first one that was released in America, but it's actually the sequel to the one that was released in Japan. Clock Tower First Fear. Mm. But this game was originally thought of as a fan remake of the original Clock Tower, aka Clock Tower First Fear, for the SNES, I believe. Which I do have a charity playthrough of both that game and Clock Tower 2 on my channel. So you should go see those. But over the years, it kind of morphed into, hey, wouldn't it be cool if, re if we remade the original Clock Tower, because it was awesome, just pictures on DeviantArt, into a fully-fledged game that ended up becoming its own thing, which is this, Remothered. So I've been following this game for ages. I'm super excited to play it. It looks freaking gorgeous, and I know I'm going to die a lot, because going back to its Clock Tower roots, we're going to be running away from some things that can murder me. Great. Wonderful. Let's play it. Okay. I'm gonna get wrecked. Also, I couldn't find an option to rebind any of the keys. Which is gonna be annoying, because I hate not being able to rebind my keys. Thankfully, this one actually has crouch on both control and C, so that's a little bit better, because I have trouble with the shift and the control buttons. But... Tick, tock, tick, tock. And we can throw diversions. Great. Dodge with F. Inventory is I. Diary is... That supposed to be... No, that's tab. Okay. That took me a second. <laughs> so, is it all true? That's when it started. What have you heard already? <laughs> it sounds like a young woman trying to do an old woman voice. <laughs> it thickened the bones. It accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Um... <laughs> Every word. But if that's what it was doing... Why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? Everyone died! From the beginning. Oh my god, it's I'm Professor McGonagall! Holy shit! <laughs> my memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really describe who we are? She looks like Professor Swear McGonagall crossed with Kate Mulgrew. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it. The graphics kind of remind me of Dishonored almost. Not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. Okay. It is only through Crazy growing lady. old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. And so, Madame Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? Because I forgot. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. What? <laughs> Crazy lady. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that, as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable... I have a like really bad feeling that she's just going to get killed from behind right now. All this... began. I just had a really weird... like... Knowing what I know about this game and the games that it is based on, I just had like the mental image of her just getting murdered from behind by the guy in the chair. <laughs> Lost child Celeste Felton missing. 
God, this game is gorgeous. If you fly, you lose I should look up the team for it because um, I think his name is Chris Darrell is the guy who made the game. I don't know if he actually, like, if it was just him primarily who made it, but he was the guy who owned the original DeviantArt page that the precursor to this, a the fan remake for the original Clock Tower, posted everything on. By the way, great artist, I love the, I love the artwork, and not just because I'm a rabid Clock Tower fan. <laughs> Like Clock Tower, Fatal Frame, Silent Hill, Resident Evil. <laughs> Just like the horror, not not trifecta because it's four, but what would be the four thing version of a trifecta? It'd be a quadfecta. <gasps> Old lady, smoking's bad for you. Don't smoke. Smoking's bad for you. Don't smoke. It's bad for you. Uh, <laughs> this is a bunch of Italian. <laughs> but I'm speak your Italian. I wonder if this game has multiple endings. I'm gonna have to look that up. I forgot to do that before I started recording. Because <laughs> all of the Clock Tower games, except for Clock Tower 3, had multiple endings. And sometimes the multiple endings would like show up in multiple places during the game. So you could have one within like the first 10 minutes of the game. And then you could have one at the very end, that was affected by something you got in the beginning. So, if this is based off a of clock tower, I should probably look up if it has multiple endings and what I need to do to get the best one. Because, of course, that's going to be the one I want to show you, just like I did with Nightcry, and Clock Tower 2 when I did the charity stream, and the original clock tower, and what I will do for the PlayStation 1 clock tower. Oh, I have a bad feeling with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice little moth there. She looks... with the moths here? And the look of the character, she reminds me of Clarice from Silence of the Lambs, which, brilliant. Created, written, and directed by Chris Darrell. Not Daryl Dixon, though. Okay, time to control things. I'm gonna say, oh crap, I just... Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I just disconnected my mouse. Okay. Wow, this is sensitive as shit. Oh my god. Okay. So, standard game controls. Okay. That's my run. I cannot do that now. Okay, apparently I can't crouch. I'm gonna turn... Can I turn down the sensitivity? Uh, controls. Please. Okay, there we go. Nope, doesn't look like I can. <laughs> well, shit. Fun! <laughs> Don't know what she's doing here, but <laughs> she runs like a dork. <laughs> Is there anything you want to go here? No? Okay. Okay, I'm assuming there's some sort of... She's freaking the fuck out. <laughs> okay, I guess there's some sort of stamina system that makes her run, that makes her freak out if she runs too much. Okay. <laughs> so I'm assuming the game wants me to go here. Maybe? No? Am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. Run, 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 run. Oh, wait a minute. Her freaking thing was facing this way. There goes. But excuse you. Okay. <laughs> it just went through her face. Uh, missing on October fourteenth, nineteen forty-one. Missing at last, wearing a white dress with bows, white shoes, trust hair. Information requested to call some number. Okay. I think they're down that way, one way, so I figure I go down this way. Maybe? Oh, here we go! Uh, I feel anxious in looking at some icons. Icons and mirrors. Okay, I'm assuming that's how we... I know that's how we save. We save at mirrors. 
I remember that. I've tried to look up as little as possible beyond what I already knew from the previous incarnation of this game. Who is it? So I've tried not yes, to look things up. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? What? Crazy Anyone? lady! Crazy lady. I'm coming in. I probably shouldn't come in, <laughs> but I'm coming in. Reach the residence of Dr. Felton. Oh, oh, oh boy, this, this is gonna be a bad place. I got, I got a feeling it's gonna be a bad place. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna look through it anyway. Okay. So we got some chemicals. This looks like a greenhouse. Or something. Can I go in? Hello? The gate was open. Are you there? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Okay, door's locked. I have this- I have this- I'm just waiting for something to jump out and kill me. I- I'm expecting it. I have played way too many Clock Tower games to not expect something to jump out of nowhere and murder my ass so goddamn hard. Oh, there's no reason to be freaking out, crazy lady. I'm assuming we need to go around to the back, and- Oh! My wonderful! <laughs> long, long, straight corridor. Something's gonna kill me! This is like such a good place for something to come murder my ass so hard. Dude, she's just like freaking out for no reason. Running is not that bad. Okay. I'm just breaking into some dude's house. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay, you're fine. Stop freaking out. Wait a minute, there's a thing. I must examine everything! Definitely anguishing. Dude, honey! Kate Mulgrew crossed with freaking McGonagall, since I'm assuming that's the character we're playing is the younger version of the old lady. Um, definitely has a Kate Mulgrew look, but it's not freaking out. God, I would love to have a house like this. Just greenhouses and plants everywhere. Stab to the head of scissors. <laughs> Great clock tower. That hallway was way too long. Yes? Good evening, Miss I am... Reed. You already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the center. <laughs> I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you <laughs> The Institute? Oh no, fall out! <laughs> I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents... I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's oh, pathology. No, please. I I'm just... I'm not sure how I feel about the animation of this nervous. game. It's really good, but also <laughs> kind of jank. It's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Why am I going through the back I door? I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Mr. Felton is probably going to be the doctor that's going to be chasing my ass. Like, because... The dude in the beginning was talking about the illness that when we described it to him, I was like, oh, is that, how is that an illness? Um, but it actually is, because it's awful. And here's this guy who's like, we have an illness, he has an illness. <laughs> it's probably drove him insane, and he's going to kill his wife, and then me. Oh god, it's dark. Okay, I got an achievement. Please, this way. Oh, terrible idea. Bad habit. Smoking? 
Yes. Yeah, it's an you awful can. habit. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. If she's a doctor, she probably does. Health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh, no. From midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, this is a creepy-ass house. Pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. Oh, you're not his wife. I thought that was his wife. It's so dark. Just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. Oh, that's know. so cool that it has that it actually muffles you know, the voice. She's home, she listens to the same music, the same song. When they go around a corner. Over and over. Okay. That's that's not creepy. I'm just waiting for the first chase to happen, you guys. I'm just fucking waiting for it. Because I'm going to die a lot. We know I'm going to die a lot. Because if it's a clock tower game, I'm going to die a lot. <sighs> this way, please. And Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Felton walks in with his giant pair of gardening shears. Like, oh, what are you gonna do with those? Stab! <laughs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> if Dark Dark Felton ends up being the dude who chases me and tries to kill me, I freaking called it. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming we wait here and look at shit. Coronation of a virgin, young girl gazes in the sky above the with stunned eyes and the light hits her, but something's out of place. From the dark sky that threatens a storm threatens storm or descending, the hideous hands of stranger of stranger creatures. This picture makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay. That's supposed to be some like Virgin Mary nonsense. Um, can I can I can I there we go. Mr. And Mrs. Felton's farm, Rosso Gallo, closes danger of contamination. The Feltons are indicted for alleged criminal activity against consumers and production employees. Okay, infected by a toxic pollen is <laughs> Las Plagas. <laughs> Bet you anything is Las Plagas. Okay. Oh my god, this is long. Okay, reported symptoms. Painful ulcers, vomiting, proliferation of parasites, and in some cases, keratosis sensitivity. So sensitivity to light. Flashlight. Flashlight stuns the enemy. Bet you anything. Following heavy allegations, both the Feltons and the Ashmans received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the Order of Physicians today. Wyman stated he is shocked by the charges and putting his fingers to his former par business partner, Richard Felton. He personally funded me. It's worth noting that Felton himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Phenoxyl Project, a drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious medicine award in 1957, but that was retired from market a few years later due to the disastrous side effects. Meanwhile, even at Felton's house, which was used as a location for product distribution, this activity ceases. As a result of the scandal, the Ashmans and Feltons also broke up any kind of relationship. As a matter of fact, the Ashmans claimed this is a substantial refund for the damages they suffered because even their children had been infected and, as a consequence, used as underwear test subjects. Alrighty then. Oh, wait. I can see the other side. Oh, never mind. I, I could have looked at the other side. She's gonna get jumped. She's gonna get jumped. She's gonna get jumped. Do you believe in God, miss? Oh my god. Hi. Well, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God. She just goes into this, this diatribe after, without even introducing herself to the story. fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants even. He stuff. is really fucking but, tall. Oh, pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. He's really tall. <laughs> Dr. Reed, I suppose. Uh, sorry, Mr. Felton. 
Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me. He's in. probably already dead. Reference. Extremely hardworking, but back to us. He's recording I don't me. Recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the institute, Doctor Reed. <laughs> Hitting on me now, dude. I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the institute just a few months after you left, and you left because inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. <sighs> but it That's seems not very nice. Like also not very doctor-like. once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria. Yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea? Tea! Coffee? Tea! Espresso? No. Thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes. Indicatively, some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, she's the dead. first exam... Glory she is dead. She's so gonna die, or she's gonna, or maybe she's some the one who chases us. Some deficiency? <laughs> Overdose of non-prescribed drugs? Opiates? Anoxal? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs Without any prescription. Um... Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gallo. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me, when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? Daughter? My daughter. Celeste's never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Hmm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan and... And before we find out that I'm actually his daughter. Sending <laughs> warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with... Jennifer. He killed her. What did you say? <gasps> Jennifer! At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No, my Mr. daughter. Felton, what has really happened to your daughter? I just told you. How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate I don't have the strength for this now. I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to. I'm his daughter. I'm his daughter. What is this? I'm his daughter. See, it's Jennifer. Reference to the original clock daughter? tower. Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question. The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... Do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife, then. She's not home. See uh, is she? Is. she is. Mr. Felton. I just talked to the director of the institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Grr! Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. I'm his daughter. I'm Jennifer. Mr. Felton. I'm his daughter. I'm Jennifer. I'm so- I am so Jennifer. Also, that's an awesome reference. You know the way. That is an awesome reference. How do you even- How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. She's going to stab in the back. The will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. I am so, so Jennifer. I just love that the care that it's yeah. anybody who knows the Clock Tower games knows the significance of Jennifer. Jennifer is the name of the main character who you play in the original Clock Tower and one of the two protagonists in the second game, 
which was the first one released outside the U.S., the PlayStation version. It just, it makes me happy. <laughs> it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside seeing references to games that I loved. But yeah, I'm calling it now. I am totally Jennifer. Am I freaking hiding in the bush? Lori's dead. Am I gonna break? Yeah, I'm gonna break and enter. I'm gonna so break and enter. Yep. Can I get a save point, please? That'd be nice. That is a terrible place to hide a key. Like, it is freaking awful to hide a key there. This is about a, This is against the law, lady. Oh. There's probably a really good reason why Gloria only comes at certain times. Because I bet you anything at night. Because my wife takes care of me at night. My wife takes care of me at night because she's a horrible monster. Who's going to chase everyone? Can I have a mirror, please? Because I know mirrors are save points. Yes! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Look for mirrors with the metronome. Uh, from now on, you can save your game only by using the... Okay. So this is my warning. Disabled um, flashlight. Okay. Oh, hey! Okay, cool. Investigate the disappearance of Celeste. Diversions. Aim and throw the diversion. Okay. I have a really bad- this is such a bad idea. This is- No, no, wait, no, I need that. Okay. Nothing in- nothing important. Really bad idea. This is a really bad idea. This is a really oh my god. <laughs> okay, I can sneak. I can sneak now. Hey, look, a, a door. Okay, a door's locked. This looks like a very chase-worthy hallway. Where's that music coming from? Okay, so there's... Music seems to be coming from down here, even though I thought it was coming from upstairs. I don't want to run. Even though I'm pretty sure we're not going to get chased just yet. I don't think we get chased until the game says so. It sounds like it's coming from in here. No, it's close from the other side. Okay. Oh, I can hide! coming from? It sounds like it's coming from in here. Okay. So those are high points. Good to know. Ooh, pressy! It's tied with rope. Yoink! Okay. Oh, I can play- And there's a knife. 
Good to know. Okay, lots of distraction er, devices, I should say. I still don't want to run, I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, the door's locked. So we can use ropes to tie doors shut. That's good to know. I think I maybe have to go upstairs to find her. That music is really loud for the not for it not being downstairs. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm going upstairs. Okay, this needs to be blocked on another floor. Okay, yeah, it's just as loud as here, so it's definitely... Maybe I have to go into the study? Oh, wait, no, I have to go to the very top, because that's where the, uh... I thought I heard something. I really shouldn't be here. I really shouldn't be- what? Okay, I can hide. Good to know. I wonder if I can get found. Because you could definitely get found in the Clock Tower games. Oh, wait, no, uh, put it back. Uh... <laughs> okay, nothing. Nothing. Upgrade to a def your defense item. Okay. Okay, I found a place. I don't know if there's... I know I need to find that music. Try to activate the film projector. Okay, this is the office I was in. What happens if I try to play it? Okay, I need battery and a film. It's getting more tense even though- because I know something's going to happen, I just don't know when or where or how. <gasps> oh, cutscene! <laughs> this is- this is an awful idea. Oh, 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 yep, here- here it happens. Oh, mirror! Are you here? Monster. Monster. Wait a minute. So it's a recording. Hide under the bed. Goodbye will be the death. Leave my land for me then. <gasps> She's dead! Please, Mrs. Spelter. <laughs> He's gonna hear me and chase- Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 dear. Is he sleeping in the same bed as her? Hide under the bed. Bed, bitch! Under the bed, bitch. Under the bed, bitch. Oh, that's creepy. What happened, my dear? 
The record player got jammed again. Why does he have the sickle? Yes, I know. You, you keep on telling me we need to buy the new gadgets on the market. Promise, promise, promise. How can I say no to you? Now get some rest, love. My little Jennifer. Jennifer? He ate a bug. Okay. Um. <laughs> just say, okay. If you decide you want to bypass him, distract him, or face him, not to make any noise. Okay. Okay. Can I save? I really want to save. I can save. I can save, right? I can. Oh, oh, I need to save. I need to save. I need to save. I need to save, please. Like, please? Pretty please? What the fuck do I save here? <laughs> Something stuck in the drain. Okay. It's a key. Uh, okay. I got a key of some sort. I don't like this. Okay, he's around here somewhere. I know he is. I know he's around here somewhere. I just want to find a safe point, please. I don't think I've looked over this area yet. Oh, I don't like this. Oh! Is that a knife? No, give it. I want that. Okay. I have a defense item. How badly is this guy going to kill me, you guys? Like, can I pretty please have a save point? Fuck. Door's locked. <laughs> I have a key for somewhere. Okay, I have a key for somewhere. Oh, cool! Try to escape from the mansion, investigate the disappearance of Celeste, try to remove the object stuck in the drain pipe. Okay. I don't see an inventory. <sighs> Wait, is it I? There we go. Ground floor corridor. Okay. So I have to go down to the ground floor. Gross. Please don't come up the stairs. <gasps> the 
There he is. Oh dear. Is he butt naked? He he is. Oh my god. He's butt he's butt naked. Butt naked. Except for an apron. <laughs> I gotta go a little faster, gotta go a little faster. Please don't find me, please don't find me, please don't find me, please don't find me. Fuck! How do I use items? Oh, what's the item use? How do I use items? Oh no! <laughs> Come on, there we go. To interact, examine. Okay, well, that doesn't tell me. <laughs> A mirror would be nice. Fuck. I may need to use something on this, okay? I don't see him. I don't think I see him down there. Oh, wait, yes, I do. Yes, yes, go upstairs, please. I don't- I wasn't paying attention if we went downstairs or if we went upstairs. So if I turn this corner and walk into him and die... Okay. Phew. This is fine. Still don't know where freaking save point is, though. Yeah, I will. But I've been go oh, you know what? I've been playing this for quite some time. That needs batteries. The control panel doesn't zoom. That probably needs the battery. That's a distraction device. God damn it! Okay. So, I'm going to show you guys what happens when we get killed. Because I've been recording this for way too long, and I can't find a save point, so I'm just going to have to go through it again, I think. So I'm going to show you guys what happens when we run! Maybe. Oh, but I also don't want to. Who's playing around in my house? Bitch! <laughs> no, leave me alone! Oh, I can! Okay, so this is what I run. Oh, Jesus! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yes. Maybe. 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 I'm your daughter, asshole. I don't have enough energy to run. Oh, dear. <laughs> do, do. Get out, get out, get out, get out! Oh, it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Ah, uh, this is a dead end. This is not don't hit- don't kill me. Don't- don't kill me, please. Okay, that's another hit. I don't know how many hits I can take. I think it's three. <laughs> don't go away. I have a gift for you. I don't know how to use defense items either. Oh, no. Still should be up. He is definitely still- yes. Okay, it's good. I can juke around him. Good to know. Wait, he doesn't like light. Stop, you stupid bitch! Excuse you! Okay, he doesn't like light. Doctor are you doing I don't think. Overtime? Yes. <laughs> okay, you know what? 
I don't got time. Oh no, I got stabbed. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no, I got this good. Ah! Ooh. So that's what happens when you die. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some research to figure out how to play this game properly. But anyway, that's going to be it. Okay, we have to try to escape the mansion, and we're back here. So, my name is Miss Scar the Tanager, and I have- wait, can I save her? No. My name is Miss Scar the Tanager, and I have been playing some remothered, tormented fathers. I'll see you all in the next video.